general managers made a move saying, hey, we're all in here, but you got your top power play units now in effect. You've got all your lines where they should be. This is a well-balanced club. They're back at it. Jets trying to keep it in. Some pretty good work there. Chip pass over for Shifley. Velarde's in front. The pass went past him. Brendan Dillon rips it on goal. And the stop by Jerry was playing at Wilkes-Barre under an AHL contract. He signed a two-way deal the last day and shoots it right away. And pinning that post, he'll get it back at his own line. Up ahead for Gensel. Works his way toward the slot. Pass toward the corner. Off a stick. Jump on goal. Crosby right in. And he can't convert as Hellebuck was down. And one three-game winning streak, but no other real stretches of dominant play. As Achari centers it. Turning Eller. Pick save by Hellebuck. Blood down there by Adam Lowry. The captain tried to steer it in the slot. Fanned on it. And Puglia Yarby will trudge out the center and bump that one into the zone. His 335th NHL game. That pass off the stick of Lowry. The tang right in. Backhand scores! Chris Letang with his fourth of the season, and it's 1-0 Pittsburgh. Yeah, this is a relatively good shift. Look at the effort from Appleton to get back on Jesse Pugliarvi. Forces the dump, and right there, that's a nice little pass to the soft ice in the middle, and Lowry just not able to handle it. I think against most teams, this probably isn't a goal, but when you guys have guys like Carlson and Letang on the back end, they can amplify season. The home team strikes first. And they're coming right back. Rust with a snapper. And Gludden held that time by a standing Connor Hellebuck. So Latang with the goal at 6-16. And Monaghan spying a loose puck. Trying to get there before P.O. Joseph. Malkin at center. Haven't said his name yet. Now Joseph, the former Arizona first rounder, sends it in. Carried right back in by Kyle Connor. And further, Connor with a nifty move. He tried to short side it. And Jari made the save. As the Penguins get the puck and it's whipped out the center by Carlson. Bobble puck. The, the goal for Pittsburgh came from the bobble puck off of the stick of Adam Lowry. It takes some time for them to get their mojo back. Knocked down and carried in by Fiat. He'll cross. Good feed. Nikola Ehlers drills it. Good stop by Jari. That pass collected by a turning Eller and a pretty good one of his own to Carlson. In he comes. Carlson wrists that on goal. The bouncing rebound. Skips to the corner. Carlson after it again. Eller takes the pass. Wrist it right away and an easy snare and a save there by Hellebuck. I think both have a lot to do with each other. When they're good defensively, usually that leads to good offense. Nice move by Mark Shifley right in. Shifley! That was almost a highlight real goal. In particular, Mark Shifley, who's back after missing six games prior to the break. And boy, he looks sharp. Look at that little. For me, he's had a strong first period. That pass to the line collected by Rust. Back checking Gillardi. Pitch toward the net. Contact on Hellebuck. Behind the goal, off the skate of Crosby. To the slot it goes, watch out. Pass to the near boards. Now Carlson directs it on goal, a bouncing puck. Achari was there. Harkins centers it, and Achari denied as he batted that one out of the air. That'll roll down the ice, and no icing. So a break there for Winnipeg. Yeah, I agree. Achari bunted that out of thin air, like we mentioned, Dan, and got a pretty good shot on that, and Hellebuck had to be sharp. Well, Achari with three goals this season. Ramsey, don't hit me. They really don't like his speed right up here. and down the middle of the ice on that fourth line. Graves, one of three oh, oh. Nova Scotians in tonight's game. Directs that all the way down. Collected by Sandberg. He can't get it past Deller. Works it back to the line. Carlson gave it away to Nikolai Ehlers. Carlson races back. Ehlers weaving with it. Monahan is in front. Ehlers, feet moving well now. Wiping out is Carlson, so Ehlers continues on. To Dylan Sandberg shoots and Jerry. 70 seconds left in the period. Pass ahead. Redirected to Barrett from Maya follow the Mestikov drop pass. Morrissey with a drive. Jerry made the save. He's out of position and tumbling. The Jets get the puck back. Centering pass. The Mestikov denied by Jerry. And a big save right there. And I think this group with the Mestikov centering. Crosby and Shifley on the draw. Crosby with a, a career best 59.1% on the draws. That sharp angle shot. That's off the skate of Peon trying to find it. Crosby does. He's got Latang open. Chris Latang rust at the other side. Couldn't catch up with that in the dying seconds. Crosby off the outside of the post. Gensel finds the puck. They're looking for a late shot. Time's going to run out. The only goal of that period. Chris Latang at 7 16. 
Yankees tonight. Francis Chiron, that is Jake Brink, dropping the puck, and away we go in period number two. Hensel steers it back. Little tag. He has the game's goal. Rust drops it. Latang sent it through. Kicked away by Hellebuck. You can sense some unease in the crowd, too. They've been frustrated by this Penguins power play all year. As Raquel centers it. Hellebuck made the save. He denied Carter, who was in tight. Penguins control it off the faceoff. Carlson for Raquel and back again. Ricard Raquel, the former duck. Playing catch with Carlson, he sends it through. In front, Carter scores! <laughs> Jeff Carter with his sixth goal of the season, his second power play goal makes it 2 0 Pittsburgh. This one's all Eller. Uh, watch number 20 in the bumper position as Latang is looking for his stick and he finds it. This is just a redirect. He finds the Eller stick that gets the puck to the net, right? Every lane to the net is shut down, so you look for another way. There it is, a rebound, and Carter, who's using his big body such a good way. A push, buys himself some space, separates Schmidt from himself, and then Brian Rust right in, leasing Rick Crosby. Smith. Latang gave it right back to him. Smith for Crosby. Rust is at the front of the goal. 2-0 Penguins. Crosby. Fan on it. Open net. Score. And it's Rust. Noise in this building. Watch Rust net front. And then Crosby actually swipes at this puck and fans on it. And turns out for the Penguins. There's the shot. And it's more of a pass to the back door. And Latang taps at that. Pardon me, Gensel, and there it is. Now Crosby. But Gensel up with him. Alex to continue on. Good setup. Ryan Rust right into the front. Backhander stopped by Hellebuck. Morrissey. Danello sets it up. Perfetti walks right in. Shot. Big stop by Jerry as he came well out. The best chance by a mile in this period for Winnipeg. Former teammate of Brand, uh, Laurent Brassois, by the way. Two years with the Edmonton Oil Kings. Brassois mentored Jari, and then he went on to win a Memorial Cup in 2014. Play starts with the Jets. Now turning in his own end is Morrissey. That'll bounce ahead nicely for Appleton. He has met at center, but is able to wrist that one into the zone. Need a rider out front. Adam Lowry! Stopped by Jari! I was talking about earlier where the Jets haven't been quick with their breakouts. So Sandberg, nowhere to go with it. Standing, nowhere to go with it. Meanwhile, Pittsburgh's getting above their options. Everybody's in their spots, and now your D can gap up, gap, gap up. Your forwards are back to support, and there's just no chance off the rush. And then shoveled ahead by Piot. Shifley. Connor. Just keep it on side. Morrissey. Shifley in tight. He tried to roof it, put it up too high. Bouncing puck. Stolen away. Morrissey to Shifley. Scores! Well, Winnipeg very persistent that time. And Mark Shankly has the Jets on the board. It's 3-1. to one. It wants to join the play and then stay there. Morrissey up the ice in the middle of the ice. So he makes a little backhand dish pass. And then look who gets it back. Another backhand dish to the one-timer. And just an attack mentality. Shankly doesn't stop this one. He knows it's coming. And bam! Right in the five-hole in the back of the net. And now we're in a two-goal hockey game. Pittsburgh game. has elected to use its coach's challenge for offside prior to well, you might have heard me say it was close at the line at uh, one point, so... I think the player in, in question is Velarde. There it is, top of your screen. Look at his right foot as it crests the... Boy, oh boy, not looking good. I don't think the fans are going to like this in Winnipeg. After a bit of review, it's been determined that the play was offside. Their call was on the That shot goes wildly off target, and a drive knocked down there by Morrissey. He's able to pass it ahead, but Red is picked off by Evgeny Malkin, taking it behind the net. Wraparound stopped by Hellebuck. The shift and Crosby off the ice, Malkin on, and gets an opportunity right away for it. The big span, look at that. Toe drag, wraparound attempt. And he just jams that out of the zone. A quick pass ahead, they're onside. Shankly shoots. Jerry made the save, and he gobbled up the loose puck. To finish the power play off, here it is, stretched out. Shankly gathers that one and just. Not going to happen. Kristen Jerry will take the lead in shutouts in the NHL with six. He is 19 career. And the Penguins win it three to nothing.